So here at ITS 2016, we're trying to show our customers that there's multiple approaches to the topic of how to utilize collaborative robots. There are a lot of applications. If you're going to do them 100% without manual intervention, the cost goes exponentially high and it's not possible to do from a financial standpoint. So what we then propose is that the person, together with the robot, do the job in another way. So the robot does maybe 70, 80, 90% of the work, but that little last part that is so difficult and so expensive to automate, the person actually goes in and helps the robot with it. The robot is safe, the robot knows that you're coming close, and together they get, they get the job done. Kuka Robotics has been a leader in collaborative robots for almost a decade now. We utilize these robots in machine tending applications, healthcare, medical, consumer electronics, assembly, a wide variety of applications. We have our LBR EVA, which is a truly collaborative robot. It's used in applications where what we refer to as HRC, human robot collaboration, is a full-time need of the robot. You'll see when you look at it, it has a very smooth exterior surface. There's no pinch points, there's no entrapment points where you can put your hand or fingers in openings in the robot. The robot also has integrated force sensing on, on both sides of the drive system. Collaborative robots is about safe robots, but it's also about sensitive robots. Safety, so you can be close to the robot. You can take away safe defenses, you can make the footprint a lot tighter. That opens up to a world of new possibilities where typical industrial robots really can't do the job. Collaborative robot, we can move it by hand by pressing the enabling switch over here. Move it and, for example, teach your position by clicking the green button. And that saves the current position that can then be used in a path or a program. So we have the possibility to move the robot by hand, which is sometimes easier for the customer or the operator to do that instead of using a pendant of some kind. And we're also showing our KR Agilis robot, which allows for higher speed, higher velocity, higher throughputs, but still can be utilized in a safe manner through the use of area scanners. This type of robot and this type of solution is where you're looking to have a fenceless automation solution, but yet you want the speed for yield and throughput for an, and high spindle utilization on your machining center. Collaborative robots, by nature of being collaborative and safe, are slow. However, with area scanners, you can have a fenceless system that is safe, but also yet have collaboration when the human does need to enter the work cell. When you go near the robot, you'll see the colors change on the lights below. You'll see the area mapped out on the floor of what we refer to as the safe zone, the warning zone, and the stop zone. By entering each of those zones, the robot's going to change in its, its mode, ultimately where it will stop. When you walk out of those zones, it will restart. So if you can envision that in a machine tending application where you would have a robot tending a machine with no guarding, but yet still allowed to enter the work zone in a safe manner, the difference between the Agilis robot and the LBR EVA in this type of application is that you would be able to have a safe application but the robot running at very high speed for load on load to minimize door open door close time, which is crucial to spindle utilization, yield and productivity. It's really important that the customer is doing a risk assessment uh, because there are other aspects of the application that still require guarding. So it isn't the solution for every application, but certainly is an area that our customers and the customers attending this show are wanting to explore more, and that is uh, fenceless systems. We see the future of collaborative robots really evolving in, in both areas that we're showing here today. There certainly will be continued evolution of truly collaborative, HRC-capable robots and, and applications shown here at the show, but we also see the increase in utilization of traditional robots in a collaborative mode. Orange Intelligenz.